actually about to cry and throw up. Good morning! This morning when I woke up, there was an earthquake and I didn't wake up because of the earthquake. I woke up right before the earthquake, so it was really, really weird. It wasn't that bad, but it lasted for so long and I haven't felt an earthquake in this apartment. I don't think at all and I've lived here for over a month now. So it's been a while. Normally there's like at least one earthquake a month, but we went like an entire over a month without any earthquake, but it wasn't that bad. I was fine. If you're new here, you might not notice anything different, but if you are not new here, which I feel like is most of you, my living room looks different yes let me show you so i'm completely moved all of this and i like it so much fucking better it looks so it feels so much more like homey something was so off about it before and i was like i need to change this so i did my couch like used to be coming out of this wall which left like a small space to walk through there and my tv was like against this corner but i like this so much better it's way more cozy don't they sleeping right now Hi, Dote. <laughs> but this is a vibe. Also in terms of like apartment updates, I have gotten a few things. I got this little plant here. I think it just brings together my little TV stand so well. It's so cute. I don't even know what this is called. If you know what this is called, please let me know. I don't know how to take care of plants. So I'm kind of winging it. Also, I got this candle. It's really cute. And this is just my photo that I got from my solo trip in Hiroshima. I got that like a year ago. But yeah, this just feels so much more homey. And now my bathroom door can actually like open all the way. Wow. Voila. Also, I got this plant here. If you ever want to revamp your space, just fucking buy plants. I know some of them can be expensive, but it's so worth it because it completely changes the entire vibe of your apartment. I also got these two plants that are just above my oven thing. What the fuck is this called? I don't even know what that's called, but I got these two plants. They're very cute. But also I got all of this stuff from like a 500 yen shop, which is like a $5 store. So everything was between like $3 and $5. Wait, it's kind of dark, but I actually decided to put my Hirono figures in my bathroom because I felt like this shelf looked pretty empty and I wanted to like add something that's just like kind of cute and like a surprise when you walk in the bathroom. It's like, oh wait, the bathroom's not bland. So now in here but i do want to get like an actual display case for them and yeah but not much has changed in my bathroom really i did put dote's litter box down here now because he has flushable litter so it's more convenient to flush it in the toilet and i moved my dryer up so it's like easier to transfer stuff from the washer to the dryer this is a fucking mess i want to get like an actual basket to put all of this stuff in so it's not so exposed but yeah that's the apartment update right now there's still a lot of changes i want to make i did order a dining table someone commented and was like ryan you need to fill that space it looks so empty and i was like you are literally so right and i've also been thinking about putting a table there so i finally ordered a dining table which i'm really really excited about because when i'm downstairs the only place that i can sit to like do work or do anything is on my couch and that gets kind of annoying because it's not always the most comfortable when you're trying to work so i finally got a table and i also got a rug like i'm i'm working on it y'all i'm fucking working on it okay i do want to ask you guys for advice on this this corner next to my living room has nothing like this is just a box full of clothes that I don't know what to do with. I thought about putting a dresser here, but I was like, I don't know if that's like the right spot for it. It doesn't feel like a good spot for it. And it's also like a corner. So I was like, maybe a corner bookshelf or maybe a desk. Like I literally don't know what to put here. So if you guys have suggestions, please let me know because I'm so indecisive about this corner. And I feel like I could utilize this space really well if I get a good idea. And then that corner right there, I kind of want to get like a corner bookshelf or something. Because one thing about me, I low-key have a lot of books and just like knickknacks that I want to put up, but I don't really have a place for them. So that's the problem. So for this, I'm actually thinking about either getting rid of this or moving it because I just don't like white furniture anymore. Like it's just for some reason, like not the vibe to me anymore. I want like darker furniture. I'm was thinking about getting a bookshelf like a tall bookshelf to go here i think that would look so good that might be a good place for a dresser instead because this is my closet y'all i don't know there's too many options like now that i have this big apartment i don't know what to do with it but besides the apartment situation let me give you guys a life update so right now i'm basically finishing up school i have like one day left i'm like really happy but it's also kind of bittersweet obviously i'm not like finished finished with school like i'm not graduating yet i have four weeks of nothingness like i 
I have nothing planned. I was gonna go to Korea and I was so ready to like make a video out of it and like just get a bunch of content out of it. I had almost booked it literally like five times because it's so well priced. It's like $200 round trip to go to Korea from Tokyo. So I was like, okay, haven't been to Korea, need to go to Korea, need to knock it off my bucket list and I can get a video out of it. But then reality set in and I was like, once all the money added up, I was like, is this even worth it? Like, I don't know how badly I want to go to Korea and I don't even know what I would do there, especially by myself. One thing I know is Japan is better than Korea for solo travel. Like you can do a lot more things solo in Japan than you can in Korea. So it's better to go to Korea with a friend or with someone. I've kind of scrapped that idea, but also I might get manic one day and just book it and still go. So don't take my word for it. You can never like trust me with decisions like that. Now I'm in a place where I just like, I don't know what to do with my next four weeks, which I know is like literally one of the best problems to have. <laughs> for me, I like having a routine. And if I don't have things planned, I freak out. I have to have something to look forward to within like the next month. And if I don't, I flip out. So I'm nervous because I just simply don't know what to do. And if I don't have things planned out, then I just sit and rot in my apartment for weeks on end. And that makes me like super depressed, which I don't want to happen. So I need to like figure something out. And it's really starting to stress me out because I'm putting so much pressure on doing something when I just want to be able to like relax and have a period of time where I'm like, okay, let me just fucking live. Let me just fucking live my life. But I can't do that because I'm me and my brain doesn't work that way. I think since I moved to Japan, I've gotten used to such like a go, go, go lifestyle in the sense where I'm constantly traveling and it's become a thing where it's almost like if I'm not traveling, I kind of don't really know who I am and I have to have some sort of experience to fulfill myself every few weeks or so. So I want to train myself to not be like that because I'm going, I'm going on this big trip to Canada in like five weeks, four weeks now. I'm really excited about it, but even just four or five weeks traveling internationally doesn't seem like enough to me. I'm like, no, that is like way too far away. Like I need to do something like now, which is like not good. That's like not a good mindset to have. I need to be able to just like look forward to things that are like further away and be happy about it and be settled with that. So that's what I'm trying to like train my mind to do right now. And I also feel a lot of pressure to plan videos and stuff like that. Cause I'm like, oh, I have free time. So I need to work my life away, which is just like not what I need to be doing. But at the same time, it kind of is. Anyway, I've been talking for so fucking long. Today, this is like a weekend in my life vlog. I've definitely done like a day in my life, but I've never done like a full weekend in my life. I did get invited actually to something, y'all. Like I'm not a fucking loser all the time. I did get invited to a techno show tonight, but it's like 5,000 yen or like $40. And I'm like, I don't know if that's worth it for a techno show. Like, I just don't know if I'm gonna go and the tickets actually might already be sold out. So I literally don't know if I'm gonna go to that. Other than that, I do wanna get out and like have a good weekend and bring you guys with me because I'm really excited. I like wanna go thrifting and I want to maybe buy some more stuff for my apartment as well. I'm probably just going to spend a bunch of money on some stupid shit that I don't need. And I'm also just going to like go to cafes and stuff. So this is what I'm wearing. If you don't like it, fuck you. Never watch any of my videos ever again. I wish I had a full body mirror so I could show you guys like my outfits. I have this really janky mirror. This is what I use to see my outfits. Like it's not that bad, but it's just strange and it kind of like cuts off weird. So it's not the most aesthetic vibe. <laughs> but yeah, why am I holding the fucking tripod like this? Like it's fully extended. Slay. I want new shoes so bad. Wait, this kind of works. <laughs> anyway, let's go. many foreigners go there because they get so shocked every time I go and I speak Japanese. I'm going thrifting and I hope I find something. I go to this thrift store a lot and I never find anything, but they have so much stuff, but it's just like never anything that I want to get. So I hope this time they have something good, but let's see. Here we are, y'all. <laughs> These pants eat. These are so cool. And they're literally only like $15. So I'm definitely getting these. I'm 
getting blessed today. Okay, so I am gonna get these two pairs of pants because they literally slay. But I came here originally looking for shirts, so I'm gonna try to find some. It has been concluded that all of the shirts here are ugly as fuck. I did find this one, which I think is kind of cute, and it's pretty cheap. It's like 10 bucks. Oh, I can't with the music in here. It's so bad. Okay, but honestly, I'm really happy with what I got. Like, this is such good prices for this stuff, and it's really cute. I'm definitely satisfied. Hey, caught it. I'm so excited to have new pants. Now my ass is going home because I'm tired. Yeah, I think it's gonna take me a while. <laughs> I really need to go get something to eat because I'm getting really hungry. So let's go. Am I wearing the outfit I literally thrifted earlier? Yeah. What are you gonna do about it? Sue me. Japanese people wash their clothes before they get donated, unlike America. Chances are it's probably really clean. Ooh, I might sound disgusting to some of y'all, but I literally don't care. It smells like laundry detergent. Are you making excuses for not washing my fucking clothes? Oh my God. Y'all, I'm going to Guzman. I always fall back on Guzman. I don't know what to say. Like I literally eat there at least once a week, but it's so good that I can't resist. So let's go. This store is so cool. Those not dead. Look at Hello Kitty. Oh my God, that's literally the cutest thing ever. I guess they like upcycle all of these clothes. Oh my God, more Hello Kitty. Whoa, well that's so cool. I'm here to get food, not shop. I'm done shopping. So I'm actually about to cry and throw up. The most unlucky thing just happened to me. The dude came up to me, the worker. There was five people in front of me in line and he was like, oh sorry, no more. I was the cutoff. So I just like had to leave while five people in front of me got to order. That's so sad. I came all the way here just for that. Uh, Hi guys, it's like multiple hours later. I stopped filming because I had a little bit of an incident happen earlier at the restaurant. It put me in like a really bad mood, so I just like did not want to film anymore. Hello. Earlier today, I put in my Instagram story a question and I was like, where in Japan should I go? Whatever, that's irrelevant. But I put a question on my story. And as I was sitting at the restaurant, I like finished eating and then I got four replies at the same time from people who don't even follow me on Instagram saying you should go to insert restaurant name that I was at and wear a white shirt as I was wearing a white shirt. So I was like, Huh? And this restaurant is really small so I could see everyone in it and none of the people in the restaurant were the same people that were messaging me or responding to the question. So I was like, okay, this is really weird. It makes me uncomfortable. I wasn't concerned for my safety, but it just like adds to the anxiety that I get of going out and like, especially in popular places because I'm very much increasingly getting recognized over time in Tokyo. So <laughs> I was like really anxious about that. And then I just like walked outside and started crying and then I just came home and I posted about it and was like can you guys like not do this and they all replied and some of them were fucking mean and some of them were like oh I'm sorry we waited like 10 minutes how they found out where I was was there was a big window behind me and they saw me in the window and they told me that they waited 10 minutes in the window as I ate my food like, it's already embarrassing just being by myself but it's even more so embarrassing when I'm eating like I don't know if there's photos being taken of me I don't know if there's videos being taken of me and it just makes me anxious I don't have a problem with anyone like saying hi to me or taking pictures with me but just like this scenario was like like just dis really disturbing for me but I came home and just like chilled for a little bit because I was a bit taken back by that moving on tomorrow's Sunday tomorrow's a new fucking day I'm excited I do have a few things planned so I'll see you tomorrow good night hey. New rug check. I got this rug for my new dining table. It's a little bit smaller than I thought it was gonna be. And I actually tried to cancel the order cause I thought I didn't like it in the picture after I bought it, but they didn't let me cancel it. So I got it anyway. And I actually like it a lot more than I thought I would. I need to like let it roll out, but I think it's cute. I think my dining table will be really cute on top of this. Although I do wish it was just like a little bit wider. We'll see when my dining table comes. No, I like it. Okay. Ow. Yes. I stumbled upon an Attack on Titan exhibit.
now I gotta get it up the fucking stairs. Y'all, I'm scared because he was literally struggling to even just put this in the door. Oh my God. I can't get it up like one step. Oh my god, that was literally one of the hardest things I've ever done. Let's build it now. Let's get cracking. Yes! Okay, update y'all. It's definitely not as dark as I wanted it to be. Like, I thought it would be closer to these cabinets, but it's not. But that's okay, because I think I can make it work. Like, I think it still looks okay. It is a little large. Maybe I should move it around. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know what y'all think, because I don't know how to feel. But I am happy to have a dining table at all. <sighs> Yesterday I spontaneously booked a trip to, I'm actually not gonna say, but I'm going on a trip soon and I'm really excited because I'm gonna film a video. So look forward to that, but I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.